Check. Test. One, two, three. Good afternoon. Once again, I'm Kill the Vid, your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And I'm back again with another edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Mafia 2 Classic Edition. This is going to be Gaming Live Stream Walkthrough Episode 2. I debuted the stream yesterday with the exploits of Vito Scaletta taking place between the early 1940s to the early 1950s in Empire Bay in the Mafia universe, which of course is New York City IRL. So, I was last completing the mission in which Vito Scaletta, at the urging of Henry Tomasino, to break into a government office to steal some gas ration stamps, and then only to be told that the gas ration stamps expire at midnight, so I had to rush to every gas station in town to unload them so I can get paid extra. So, we're going on with three additional missions per episode. So, if you haven't done so already, grab a snack, grab a drink, grab what you need. It's time for Let's Play Classic featuring Mafia 2 Classic Edition. Right now on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Here we go. Chapter, chapter, four. Chapter, chapter, four. Chapter, 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 chapter 4. Murphy's, Murphy's Law. Law. Little, Little Italy, 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 February 11, 11 1945. Oh, uh, jeez. <sighs> Look at this. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. Okay, let me get Vito dressed. And as always, I've turned off the music. Especially the music that contains copyright music, because I don't want copyright strikes. So let's not take any chances. Now, I should say that Mafia 2 Classic came with Mafia 2 Definitive Edition, which has mostly the bugs in it. Which is why I'm playing the Classic Edition. And, when you think about it, there's not much of a difference. Graphic-wise and presentation-wise, it's relatively the same. Only the Classic Edition has much more DLC. And this is from the 2010 edition of Mafia, as opposed to the 2012, I mean the 2020, which of course is the definitive edition. Now I gotta stop in Giuseppe's and go get some lockpicks, because we're about to do something big. I hear a dog barking in the background, but you don't even see a dog, because I don't think there's any dogs in this game, but that just... It's just nothing but audio. Background audio. And the DLC, you got a whole bunch of extra cars. Going to have custom hot rods. Look at that. I like this one. That's cool. But I like this one. And, the, and it's a four door, too. Some 
Italian portrait. I think it's like a Citron or something. Just maybe it's French, I'm not sure. Look at that. Cool. Not just epic, just epics. Some lock picks. Area has become available once you drive over the map. The map is actually open, and the locations will appear on the map once you discover them, which is interesting. Yeah, I am gonna go get a piece. I can actually rob the gun shops. Gotta watch myself. Cops will pull you over if you even hit something. Pally, what's going on? Full tank, please. Sure thing, pal. All right. Almost done there, boss. We'll be back on the road in no time. Anything else I can do for you? Thank you. Your money's always welcome here. You had to be careful not to discharge your, not to uh, brandish your firearm in public, especially in front of a police officer, because they'll become high, they'll come on high alert and intend to take you down. Whatever you need, I got. Ooh, Molotovs, sure. Here you go. Uh, anything else I can do for you? Yeah, already got lockpicks. Oh, you get a Magnum. Here yes, you go. Please. Use it in good health. That should work for you. Okay. Good. Very good. You need anything else, you come back. I'll take care of Get the car repaired, and then I'm gonna stop at the gun shop to rob it, and then go meet Joe.
at Freddy's bar. Let's get this whip done. How's it going? What can I do you for, pal? Yeah, we'll Are you looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Be done in a jiffy. Plates fine. We can paint it any color you like. Take your pick. You can see the interactive paint cans that are like the color selection. Yeah, I like that. Secondary cover. Very good. Now let's tune it. Fully tuned. Can't make it. Go Thanks fast. a lot. Look at that. It's a four door, too. It's Italian. Now we're going to stop at the gun shop, of course. But I'm also there to rob it. Are you looking to buy a gun, or you just need some ammo? And then some. On the count of three. One, two, three. Don't be- I got more hope than you do, boy! Oh, damn it. He, he ducked this time. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna try it again. And the chapter starts over. Can you believe that? Bah. Screw you. Oh, I already got locked in, so... We'll just rob the gun shop and continue on from there. That was gonna be a smooth robbery. I guess not.
just robbed a gunshot this time. You've been jumpy. Afternoon, sir. Let's not fuck it up this time. Don't be got him. Where they come? Good, they didn't make me. Good, that's good enough. Get some drinks. <laughs> hey, look who's here. Oh, what the hell? Where the hell you been? Laying around in bed all day. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What the hell? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just <laughs> And when Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. Alright, come on, relax, fellas. There's a high risk business. If you don't like it, you can always head. go break your back work at the peanuts down at the docks. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so, how about tonight? We still on for what we Only talked about months? yesterday? We'll see you in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! What? You think I'm running some kind of fucking charity here? Do it. Now! Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus, uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why is everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah. with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, bulb. don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we, we gotta, gotta do is outfit. wait until dark. Six hours later. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sneezed. Okay, my head's back on, right? Hey, so how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Derek? Yeah, hey, he's a piece of work, ain't he? Give you a job? Yeah. I worked some guys over. It was small time crap. He shakes down these hard up dock workers just like he did my old man. 
Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. Quit whining and keep in touch with Derek. Trust me, he's got better jobs than shaking down wolf rats. Hey, pal. Can you fill up? Full tank, please. Sure thing, pal. Anything else I can do for you? Thank you. See ya! 78 cents. Damn. How can I help you? All fixed up, buddy. What is new? Sorry, pal. No can tune. He was looking at me. We can paint it any color you like. Take your pick. Are you looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Thanks a lot. See that light turn red? So we're about to rob a jewelry store. And the title's called Murphy's Law. And of course, Murphy's Law, for those who aren't familiar, it means there's a probability of something to go wrong, it's going to go wrong. Named after Edward Murphy, who was some kind of a physicist or a scientist or some kind of person. some kind of experiment, I'm not sure what, that much to his well, everything that he's, you know, like much to his surprise ended up going wrong. I'll have to look it up. Do a little more research on Murphy's Law. There's also a David Masson, which I discovered like 42 years ago, and I just discovered the title of it. An R&B song called Murphy's Law, which I'm kind of hooked on.
Vito, open this door. There we got it. Let's get it. Music will be playing in this scene. But look. It appears someone else has interest in What the hell is this? Door. Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Move Irish it. Mob. Brian fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard. What the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? <laughs> You're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here fuck for you. Fuck off, Fatso. This is our heist. If you want to get out of here in one piece, you'd better yeah, hand yeah, over everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. reported at the West Side Mall. Repeat, 1031. Burglary this in progress. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest <laughs> you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss Let's my ass. get the ass. fuck out of here. Ugh. Gotta get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! Brian, what about the cops? Let's get out of here! I'm trying! Shit! Watch my ass while I open this door. Keep those assholes off my back! Almost got it! Almost! Come on, you piece of shit! Open up! Okay, got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on! Freeze! Police! There's no way out! Go back! We gotta find- Fuck! Shit, another dead end. Bye-bye, copper. <clears throat> we gotta go this way. It's our only shot. Crazy, it's covered in ice. One slipping with that. We have no choice. I ain't going to the joint. Get your ass over here! You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there! Shoot! Shit. Jesus, be careful! Almost lost you there. Yeah, I think I just shipped myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that! I don't get paid enough for this. This way. This should take us to the street. Vito, we can't sit out here forever. Shit, cops! Freeze, police! There's no way out. I can get a kippy doll prize for this. Boom. 
Almost got it. Hold him off just a little longer. Okay. Got it. We're out of here. Lito, come on. Hey, fuck nuts. What's the holdup? Henry's never gonna believe this. <laughs> Stupid bastards. Let's go. Look at the Irish my <laughs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick bastard. Not too bright. Usually works as high in muscle. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. straight up ahead but I would have thought that if they see me walking in oh wait no, these aren't convict this is a prison guard so I'm, I'm, I'm good oh shit Coppers, come on. If you like what you see, let me know. Here you go. Okay, that's what I did.
Enjoy your purchase. Mavati Indy, you jerk. See me break into that car. Keep them to three story missions per episode. Because there's a total of 15, I'll do three per episode. Chapter, chapter, five, chapter 5, The Buzzsaw, buzz Joe's Apartment, Joe's February 20th, 1945. Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you had passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm. Uh. Maybe next time, doll. Uh. Bye. <laughs> what a Mac. Huh. That was something. 
Drive to Freddy's to meet Joe for lunch. Okay. Let's dress up. You belong. Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. <laughs> you smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal, knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word. <laughs> You're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Come and get this ass woman. Like my sister. He's out. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks. But uh, look, I, I I really gotta get going. Mmm, you like it? I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. Are you looking to buy a gun, or you just need some ammo? I 
don't know about buying, but I will buy you out. Don't be a dumb. I got more bullets than you do, boy. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm a lousy shot. That's pathetic. Just go in there and just shoot him. Then take the dough. I love doing this. Fuck you! Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. Smack up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey pal, knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What is she, your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really gotta get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around.
Morning, sir. How's it going, sir? Morning, mister. Morning. You want me? Take that, sucker. That'll be the go. Please get away. Ooh, look at the money. Please get away. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Out the way. Pop the order, rob the register. And out you go. Gangsters are at the me. Those gangsters? Hey, fellas. Hey! Hey, Vito, this is Luca hey, Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if yous are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. Initiation fee? And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? You can't pay your way into the mob. But trust me. You the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll it's see his guys later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I, I, I... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well... Somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! 
We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh, where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in private Kingston. Gun shop. You can get your anything that. from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. What would you like? There you go, drink up. Yeah, see you around. Your money's always welcome here.
Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. All right, come in. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me yeah, about, looks huh? Like it could have been Nick Fury. Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, well, look at that. Here it is. Like MG42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. The buzzsaw. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt. Three quarters of a mile effective range and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey. You need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? That was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. We hit Utah Beach. And yeah, that wasn't no picnic neither, but... When I was crawling over the fence on the way back, <laughs> I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. As much as he wants to reminisce on. Oh, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, you know, look, guy, I really gotta get going. All right, hey, by the way... I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Vito, I'll see you soon. It's me, Vito. So what do you need, Vito? Here you go. Don't hurt yourself. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Once things become more available, when he has some more inventory. I can buy more. Damn. He's the Sears and Roebuck of arms. Bye, Vito. Ways to go. Dang. Awesome. Oh. Messed up somebody's day. Still got a lot of time.
Let's see. Apartment 233, Misery Lane, two hours later. Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Yeah, we buy you a ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a uh, a man of honor. Uh, things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up, so he sent me to America and got me a job working for Clementi. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming! Those black cars! Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, Here we go. I'm on. They got All right, guns. showtime. They got, got guns up there in that window. That's him, Vito. Waste that platform. We got them all. Stop shooting that fucking thing. I'm going deaf over here. Damn, Joe. You're a stone cold. Killer. Going in! <clears throat> we got you covered, baby. Move! Way to Bam. go, Vito! Alright, showtime, Vito! The 
Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. Oh, shit. Move it, Vito. You can't let that fat bastard get away. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll cover you. What a way to rub it in, Joe. We're coming for you, Porky. Back me up, Vito. All right, Vito, here we go. All right, Vito, go, go, go. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. You don't want any part of this, you want to you best leave. This whole fucking place is gonna burn to the ground. What a waste of bulls. Vito, come on, huh? We gotta move. Back me up, Vito. You're fucking dead! Oh no! No! Alright, Joe, come on, no! I'll talk to you, move it! You shoot like my sister. Button, Vito. Come on, we're taking the elevator. What the hell are you doing, Joe? Pretty good stuff. You should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Get my dirty hair on. Okay, here we go. Here they come! Shit, they got the got army. Shit, there's an army of them. Yo, yo do something! Can't you just fuck with me? What the fuck do you expect me to do? They shoot at me, for Christ's sakes! Vito, do something! We're the expert here! Alright, show that, Vito! Bam, motherfucker!
Back me up, Vito. Cover my back. I'll cover you, move! Oh, oh it's stretch, man! It's fucking over! Move it, Vito! We can't let that fat bastard get away. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll cover you. We're coming for you, Porky! Going in! Alright, Vito, here we go. Got the best. Go, Vito! Fuck! Watch out! What the fuck is that? God damn it, now this whole fucking place is gonna burn to the ground! What a waste of <laughs> Move! Then I'll paint the wall for your brains. I'm going in! <clears throat> you fucking dead! Oh no! No! I'm not even moving! Oh no! Oh no! Alright, showtime, Vito. You know. I won't want to get on your bad side. Okay, hit the button, Vito. Come on, we're taking the elevator. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. We should try hey. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? <laughs> Here they come! They're gonna get you! Oh, oh, yeah, they got commies! Alright, go tell you, Vito! We'll take care of them! Shit, there's an army up there! Vito, go do something! You can't just fucking sit here! What the fuck do you expect me to do? They're shooting at me, for Christ's sake! I got you covered, Vito! Like my sister. Come on, Porky's upstairs. Just... 
playing with the big boys now, kid. Not so big from here. Fuck wit. <laughs> Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Please! I got a wife! I got a... You, you should have thought about your wife I, I'm before. I'm doing your wife! Just don't kill me! Oh my god, thank god! Don Clemente sends his regards. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck you! Oh, I'm sorry you was <laughs> fucked! Fuck. Ah! Shut up, Porky! Henry, you okay? Where'd he hit? Of course I'm not fucking okay! He shot me in the fucking leg! God. Oh yeah, it's bleeding all Son over the place. Son of a... Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay, you idiot. Take it easy. I'm gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy. Lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the car. Oh, oh, Marana, you're heavier than you look. That fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. He missed him by a mile. <laughs> Hey, careful! This fucking hurts. Yeah, well, no. you can walk at least. I don't want to die. Oh, fuck! We need to get to it. Ah, this whole fucking place is coming apart. Do you? Fido, cover us. Cover us, for Christ's sake. Drive like a grandma now. Let's get the fuck out of here. If I don't make it. Hey, hey, don't go say that, pal. It's just a scratch. The doc will give you a few stitches and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I seen that in a movie once. Yeah? And what happened to the guy in the movie? He died. No. Get the feet of our We're taking him down. Fucking grandmother. Roger that. I gotta get Henry to save me. About to lose him. For sure. He's gotta get him out of the way. Yeah! You know, come on. Get this thing going any faster? Going as fast as I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. Sorry. Hey, Vito, step on it. Henry's sweating like a whore in church back here. <laughs> if you drive faster, you start a zip. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking Henry to. 
El Greco? He's a doctor. Draw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So well, he's Greco a back alley a guy doctor, a doctor work. Work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been doctor. a quick healer. Must be your diet. Hey, Henry, you awake? Stay with me now. Yeah. Oh, just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. <laughs> Ah, uh, come on, Vito. At this rate, we get there fast if we walk. Cops <laughs> don't my ass. Hey, step on it or Henry's done for. If he dies, you're burying him. Make me drive faster, you start as it. Probably means I think you better shut the fuck up. Vito there, that house. Park right in front. Okay, we got it. You are Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help. He's gonna bleed. Out. Thanks, Doc. Good oh, God, hand him. We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know this could have waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. Meet me at my place. Please. All right. Okay, I have enough money to pay off my father's debt to my sister. How much I got? Ooh. Yep, time to pay off the debt. But I'm gonna ditch this. Oh wait, this car is still wanted. So, as long as I use that car, it's wanted. So I'm gonna have to get a different vehicle. So I'm gonna have to go to a car park and jack a vehicle. Well, I can take that one. Look, there's a vehicle right here, so I'll take it. Yeah. As much as I want to, I'm not going to. So, I'm going to a car park.
yesterday, fresh hot dogs. Better than yesterday, fresh hot dogs. Better than yesterday, fresh hot dogs. Get them here. Get your fresh hot dog right in. Hot dogs, hot dogs, hot dogs. Fresh hot dogs. Oh, beef. And a couple other things. Hey, buddy, how are you? Here it is. Thank you. Twelve inches of pleasure right here. <laughs> Twelve inches of pleasure right there. <laughs> I like the double entendre. That was funny. Twelve inches of pleasure right here.
Vito, hey, how you doing? No, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, hey, have don't you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Hey, watch it, buddy. This'll help you forget all about it. All right, now get out of here before I change my mind. Still taking a car. Chapter 6 Time well spent Little Italy, February 26, 1945 
Who are these guys? Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. Uh-oh. You're coming with us. One at a gas station and Looks like the jig is up. up. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a paddle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew about and any of my other crime activities. I find to be even more serious, <laughs> considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me yourself. out of this one. Should it was a lost cause from day one. Three months later... They handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to ten years in a federal penitentiary. Hmm. Yep, the big house, unfortunately. Welcome yeah. to hell, new boys. Ah, yeah, yes, baby. Me, baby. That's right, welcome to my oh, life. Dear. <laughs> We're going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at the that. federal pen. Thieves, murderers, child molesters, they were all boy. here. Come on, the yeah. worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single oh, file. Dear. And no monkey business, or else. Walking the mile. Into the lion's den. Let's go, assholes! You want to make problems, you son of a bitch? Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? I no can't. speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. Ooh. What do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? No, but you now, sure do. Get your ass up and get no. back in line. <laughs> no. <Go. laughs> hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. But this is an industrial complex, Edward. Move it! Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. <laughs> Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside the because you can't mustache. behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you didn't! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! <laughs> you were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose. Just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. <laughs>
Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you're fucking told. Listen, Frick boy, if you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. City, here we come. This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Yeah, look at that Looked fucking like rat. Shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. Three days later. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante. Who could supposedly help me out in here? This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Hey, buddy. Beat it. Okay. Hey, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point them out, will you? Leave me the fuck alone. Just two years. That would be, uh, 730 days. So how many years, then? I ain't too good I'm looking for Leo Galante. Hey, buddy. Five Beat years it. and almost two I'm looking months. For Leo Galante. Buzz oh, off, you. asshole. They should let me out next summer. Lucky bastard. Uh, hey, uh, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Get the fuck out my face, white bread. Ha <laughs> ha! No. broke his fucking skull. Shit. Uh, they don't seem too friendly. Oh, there's a dog. Hey, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, man. Damn straight. And this time, he ended up in the infirmary. Would they rip his rear end open or something? <laughs> no. They broke his fingers in almost two months. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Go bother somebody else. Lucky bastard. You ain't never gonna beat my shit. Uh, they don't trying? seem good friendly. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Yeah, yeah. Old guy. Plays chess all day. Don't listen to these motherfuckers. You gonna do it. I know you is. To us. Someone. Set us up. Yes. They set us up. The bomb. You are on the path of destruction. No chance to survive. Make your time. All of you make your time. No chance. No chance to survive. All your pace. Ming make you deal. You teach Ming basket. Ming teach you. The war. You got it. You motherfucker. He's in the hall. Oh, yes. I know you. Huh. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> <laughs> and he sent you here. You Genny bastard. So that I could pay you back! Yeah. Uh. This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? <laughs> I'm gonna break you, Dago! <laughs> 
Come on. Yeah. Get this fucking Dago ass. You and your boyfriend Barbara are dead. Get him. This is gonna be easier than the time I shoved the table your mother's ass. It's like you for breakfast. You and faggots for breakfast? <laughs> Kick his ass, O'Neal! Stop this fucking rain! <laughs> yeah! Kick his fucking dago ass! <laughs> Not a racially charged dialogue. Get him! Kick his teeth in! <laughs> yeah! Kill him! Tear him a new one, O'Neal! Kill him, O'Neal! Neil ha O'Neal has home Kick field advantage. We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. Two days later. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Skeletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. You could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up, against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. That a boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, dammit. Oh. It's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey, we supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. 
So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Pepe here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice one. Nice, kid. Nice. Shit, Give me nah, two nah, nah, more nah. of those. <laughs> Whoa! All right, one more, Vito. Ouch. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah. Like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. Mm -hmm. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And you can handle, <laughs> you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot Alberta of explaining. Oh, jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Come on, give me another twenty. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Vito? Name's Sal. Hey, nice work in the ring. Yeah, that's it. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Yeah, I know. Name's Al. Good to meet you. Keep it up. Nice work in the ring, buddy. A little more of that, and you'll be ready for a real fight. Hell of a job with that asshole O'Neal. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, would you? How's it going? I'm better, Vito. Chris, how can I help you? How's old man Galanti know so much about boxing? Never know by looking at him now, but he was a prize fighter Come back on, in the day. Damn good one, too. No shit. Yeah, heard he used to fight in bare knuckle matches before he went pro. I'm just glad he uh, organizes yeah, these it. fights. Not that there's hey, anything else to do in Name's here. Name's Vito. You know? Sam, and he must be making doing? a small fortune on all the bets he takes. <laughs> Matter of fact, I heard that's what. Watch where you walk, Guaylo! Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, oh, 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 looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. <laughs> now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Equal opportunity offender. Ah! Ay! 
Yeah, should have studied more. Take that. Oh shit! World star, bitch. Uh, yeah, this no happen if you use tiger style. One week later. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Fight the brothers. Now, the guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong right. bastard. But he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Looky here. I'ma <laughs> take this skinny ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs get ready to lose. Hey, little Come little on, Coward. the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. You hit like my sister. <laughs> Your little cracker going down. Let's go, Vito! Put these bums back in their place! Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me out of the net! Oh, this boy got as much chance of winning as a brother running for president. <laughs> Don't worry, Vito, you got him right where you want him. <laughs> Laying down on the job like always! Man, who taught his brother how to fight? Ah, no, ah, I'm grabbing him. All right, you. Now put it down. It. You almost had him. Oh, oh back and no fight. Just so long, homie. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, alright? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. Alright, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye.
one week later. Let's go, Skeletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. Looks like it's back from detail. Ugh. So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. Hey, pal, you mind? Yo, practice that shit someplace else. Come on, man, you're killing us. There you go. Make them sparkle. And hurry it up. Hey, pipe down now. Arlius! Relax, fellas. Just give me the old pipes and work out. You're bored and shit. And I'm gonna give your face. <laughs> all right, all right, geez. You guys got no culture. What's the matter? Keep cleaning, or else. Like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. All right, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. Get moving. All right, Skeletta. Get your clothes off and get cleaned up, would you kindly? What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yes, yeah, oh, sure. Brother. Have your fun, you sick bastards. <laughs> uh -oh. mm, I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. <laughs> it's party time. Let's dance, sweetheart. <coughs> Do that again, sweet cheeks. Oh. Hurry it up, John. We ain't got long. Oh, this guy's a fighter, huh? Come on, you little baby. Come on, take him down. Bye bye. going on? Where's Frank? Ow. 
Police brutality. Police Gone, brutality. boy. You know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Must have read it. So Stone is captain of the guard. No, guards. no, no, no! Fuck! Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Here's going back. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. Yeah, I'm gonna break I'll his. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. He's about to get an Irish lullaby. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Come here, Mary! I don't think so. Oh, no. Again, harder! Nice shot, Mary! Me ma used to hit harder than that. This time I'll finish you! Oh. You hit like my sister. I'm not gonna be so gentle this time! Oh. Is that all you've got? Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl! Try again, little man! Bring out the knife and shit. Slice. Shut the fuck up. It all worked out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. Uh -huh. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. The there's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. 
Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Chapter 7 In loving memory of Franco Potenza Empire Bay, April 10th, 1951 Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Destitute, no money. I can do the robbers. At least I'll have my car. Hey, my watch, where do you stand, huh? Vito! Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, jeez, good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. Got a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing. Because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. Damn it, 
good to have you home. I'd done pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. He really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise plan for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. Headset is going out, so I'm gonna have to charge it once I end the stream. the red lights? Close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place look like an ex-con. Oh, I got plenty of suits. Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. Yeah. And it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you.
Don't let me keep you, sir. I'm sure you have a lot to do. And I have to wait here for another client. Guess I'm gonna do this chapter and then end the stream. Anyway. Oh, 15 minutes left. Kill somebody, you keep driving that way. I'm gonna find you. Thank you, officer. All right, I don't want to see your face again. Geez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad, nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I am. How's it going? Man, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah, this is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas, I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? 
I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh, funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. Hey, you waited this long. We'll tell him in the car. All right. Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. Can't run out of fuel if you bump you. Whole Luca were taking guys into their family for a fee, but we had no idea uh -huh. they were charging that much. Uh, they're gonna have to answer for their sins soon. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, because uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man. And uh, oh no, <laughs> yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm, you do. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, scram, baby. So Vito, listen. 
I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. All right. And to a bright future together. Five minutes. Touching I down. can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. Carlo's a real smart guy. <laughs> He's into, uh, uh, you know, uh, astrology. You mean astronomy. Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. shut your goddamn pie hole. If you want to oh. use your mouth. You fellas ready to go? Uh, uh, no. Yeah, let's go. Hey, get up, Joe! All I want to read is a lie. Hey, I'm going home. Good night, you whores! So that's the last yeah. five minutes of this. Hey, show. where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all of us. Uh -huh. Yeah, next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less poops. Where's the lift on? Where you go? Okay, that's better. Let's go. So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just says each in the showers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> What the hell's that stink? <laughs> Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the... What the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, oh, nah, he's in a trunk. What? What? <laughs> hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me so drunk. So basically, hey, Eddie just when killed those business to take care of me, dead trunk. guy in the trunk. And now, just now telling us that he's got hey, a whoa, dead whoa, body. Hey, whoa, 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 hey, calm down, Vito. Trunk. Hey, I spat it. We'll figure something out. So we have to take care of this. What's to figure? All police. we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got his spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. You got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? Hello? And that's going to do it for this edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Mafia 2 Classic Edition on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. I'll be back on tomorrow about the same time. Until then... I'm Kill the Vid from the 9to5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel, and please stay safe.